Alright, I'm here with Skull Mold today. How are you guys doing? Awesome, good. man. Thank you. How was the show here in Toronto? To, I mean, in Montreal today? First show in uh, Canada, so we were pretty excited about it and very happy. It was the yeah, first show for us in Canada, first show in, in North America. And if, if we do not talk about the show we did at 70,000 which is international waters. Yeah. This is the <laughs> first show we ever played outside of Europe, so it was quite special. And really, really it enjoyed it. So. You guys played some big festivals. You played Numi Rock, Grass Pop. Uh, how do those festivals compare f with the experience you guys had today here in, in Montreal? I don't think we can actually kind of compare now because this is the first time ever in Canada, so we are like really excited and. and Everything is going so great because the festival is awesome. Yeah, the people were really, really great. The people are super nice, super helpful. The organization is 100%. The crowd was awesome. The crowd was awesome. So I think like, we have played some very, very decent festivals in Europe as well. But this is, this is top of the list. Yeah, really cool. And I. I I don't think it's kind of fair to compare this to what we've done before, whether it's Wacken or Grass Pub or Hellfest or whatever, because this is the first time here, so it's, everything is kind of like really, really exciting. So you guys released a new album last year, late last year. Uh, any chances of you guys coming back to North America, Canada for a tour in support of that record? <laughs> everything is possible. Yeah. At this moment, there's nothing confirmed or anything like that. It is. We have had uh, a few offers from US and Canada for touring, but unfortunately, it has not worked out in the in the past. But one day, it it, it must happen. It's it's, it's definitely for, for us. It's, it's one of those things you need to check off check. your yeah 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 on the to-do list before we definitely. Get to all. Since this was your first show here, did you have any expectations from the crowd coming in into the show? No, not at all. I was, I, I owe, owe, every time we play the a, a new festival or, or, or a new country, I've always uh, had the same fear: nobody will show up. <laughs> so I was again pleasantly surprised that actually uh, it was really good uh, attendance. Yeah, yeah. But always this fear that. We are a relatively small band, so how many people will know us and how many people will care enough to show up or whatever, but it turned out to be super nice. Yes. I have to ask you guys about the shows you did with the, with the Icelandic uh, Philharmonic. How did the idea for those shows came about? I think somehow we, we always wanted to do it, but we did not realize that somebody from the symphony had actually thought about it as well. So, I mean, somebody meets someone and, and somebody mentions something. And before you know it, there's a manager involved and a <laughs> board of committee members of you know, those in control. And everybody was up to it. The funny thing is, when we did it back in 2013, the, the organization of the symphony orchestra and stuff, they, they kind of said like, that's it. How many shows did we play? I mean, there are a few shows. We, we, they don't we usually do it again. Three shows, three solo shows back in 2013. And, and two shows for uh, elementary children. Um, so they don't do this twice with, this, with pop or rock bands. So it was like a year before that we started talking to them and we said we have new songs, we want to do it again. People people came from like 38 countries to see the show uh, and we were lucky enough that the symphony people said we will do it again because they have said no to so many artists before so we are quite happy. Will, will you guys ever do something like that outside of Iceland, or, or it's just really difficult to pull it all together for something that size? It, 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 it has been mentioned, and uh, uh, actually, it, there, was, there was this one festival that 
you know, was quite serious about doing something on that scale, but it didn't work out. Uh, of course, uh, you can have, there are symphony orchestras all over, yeah. you know, who are super good. Quite, <laughs> quite capable of playing. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the big problem is that we sing in Icelandic. And when we did these shows, when we have done these shows back home in Iceland, we have three choirs with us on stage. A full-blown male choir, a mixed choir, and children choir. And to find people outside of Iceland who speak Icelandic or to transport all these people over to Europe or America, I don't know. It would always be kind of downscaled a bit, but yeah. it has been mentioned and, and it would be awesome to do it. I mean, I think Denmegordin played with a symphony orchestra on a festival uh, back in 4000 something. One day we will get to it. Yeah, it can yeah. happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can always happen. It's in the bucket list. Yeah, I mean, nobody, I mean, we didn't think that it, the symphony shows would actually become a reality, but they did. So, yeah, were you guys surprised with with how iconic they've become to the fans? Like the fans have really taken on to those shows, and they've become really like such a huge part of the band now. Like, yeah. is that a surprise going in? Did you guys expect that? No, not at all. We thought it would be uh, like a one-off thing, just water under the bridge kind of thing. One show, hopefully yeah. two shows, but but what amazes us, I think I can tell you, is that. We have people from the age of 3 to 93 the shows. Everybody can kind of relate Four to the music. Uh, even though we're heavy metal and that's not popular music, right? Is it? I, it was on one of the release shows we did back home for our first or second album. That we had four generations of women coming to the show. Uh, a child. Yeah. And her mother, and her mother, and her mother traveled well, two hours to come to see the show together. So. Well, when, when you guys are preparing for that, did you guys have to do any special arrangements for the songs in order to fit? Yeah. So a lot of work went into it. It's not like you just put it all together on, on a whim. Uh, uh, how does that process go for you? How, how do you work around that, like in, in order to? slightly modify your songs in order to fit into that whole new field that has the orchestra behind you and the choirs and everything else. I remember we, uh, when we first did this in 2013, we were touring with Fintroll in Europe and we had decided to have a wonderful guy, Haraldus, to uh, make this all work. I mean, he, he's a metal guy and he is actually a classical trained com composer. He, <laughs> both worlds. So when we were touring with Fintroll in Europe, he would send us uh, MIDI files of what he wants it, everything to sound. And then he kind of, I remember he sent us an email and said, okay boys, there are like a few songs that I actually want you not to play what you usually do, just want the orchestra to do it. So he kind of changed things and we had to relearn a lot of things and, and arrangements. Which is kind of cool because the people from the orchestra were really happy that they were not just playing like one note with us. They were playing like the riffs and, and solos and stuff. So we had to kind of readjust our... We couldn't just be there and play our stuff and they would be like... Back Background, there. yeah. It was just a whole new thing. That, I think that's why it became what it is. I have one more question for you guys. Uh, now that you're done here in Montreal, where can the fans see you next? Summer Breeze. Yeah, we are playing Summer Breeze in Germany in August. Yeah. August 17th, I think. Yeah. And after that, we have like some festival in, uh, in the UK. November or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's we have, what we have booked for the rest of the year. Probably, probably one or two shows back home in Iceland just before Christmas. More on that later. <laughs> work in progress. <laughs> but I 
think after Montreal, it's fishing time for me. So. Some relaxation. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your time, and best of luck out there. Thank See you. Ya. Man.